Hi guys, in the last video we installed Moodle on a local host. In this video I'm going to show you how to add users to your uh, Moodle or basically to your uh, learning platform. Uh, when we are in the platform we have this is the sort of the home page uh, of, the, of, the, of, of Moodle and uh, here I've got things uh, you know related to my dashboard me being a user in this case this user and in, in the same in the same case I'm also the admin of this uh, of this uh, application now if I need to do anything in terms of administration I go to site administration and typically the application is much faster on a on a real server than on this local host now uh, we've got here a lot of things that one can do as an administrator let's go to users and there are basically two ways to add a new user. Uh, basically, first of all, add a single user. And that would be this way. We can do it. So let me give a username. Let's call him um, um, R R G O. And, and then give him the first name, which is Ralph, and Gopher, and his email address is r.gopher at selflearner.com. And, oh yeah, and here, a new password. I'm going to give him a standard password. That's what I normally do with Moodle installations. I give every user I install, I, I install, I, I, I add, not install, I, every user I add, I give him a standard password, which is basically A, B, C, uh, let's say uh, one, two, three, exclamation mark. Let me just do it again. A, B, C, one, two, three, three times exclamation mark, and then D, E, F in capitals. And then what I do is I force a password, I force a password change. So this user, once he logs in, he's forced, he's, he has to input that standard password I used, yeah, and then he's forced to change it. So I wouldn't know his ultimate password. I'm just going to give him a temporary password for the, log, for the first login, and once he has that, then he's supposed to, um, you know, a change of password. And the password here, you can see the password I have given. This is sort of the standard password. The way I do this password is because Moodle needs uh, small caps, uh, uh, capital caps, uh, sorry, uh, lowercase letters, uppercase letters, numbers, and some special characters. And see here, I mistyped something. Uh, it's not an, it's gonna be a C. And um, this is sort of uh, the standard password I input, I give all new users and then basically I force them to change the password and then I wouldn't know the password anymore. See, so, th so that password is basically very temporary, very temporary uh, and only valid if the user never logged in. And this is sort of the critical information. Anything else uh, is not that important. I mean, especially if you're in a company, basically it's all the same. And um, so and then I go and create user. And now that user is created. And now you see now we have two users. Basically, that's me, the admin. And that's basically uh, that new user I set up. So that's, that's the way you, you add one user. Now, this is not very scalable if you have hundreds of users or thousands. So the other way to add users is with the CSV file. And uh, and the way you do that is go again site administration, and uh, we go to the user tab, and then here is upload upload users, and the way you upload users you have a file, and I'm gonna just drag a CSV file in here. Let me just open up an Excel file which I prepared for that purpose. So you see here I have a file with. Uh, seven users in this case and those fields in red these are mandatory you have to at least have your csv has to at least have those four fields username first name last name and email everything else is optional can be filled by the user individually or you know by yourself later on 
Um, I added these fields as well, ID number, password. I gave everybody the same standard password and they are forced to change or they will be forced to change it once they log in. Uh, email is I generated with a formula because in most companies or in most organizations, the emails follow a certain pattern. In this case, you know, the first letter of the first name and then the sur dot surname at whatever. And then here I put the language of each user. For instance, these two users uh, would like to have uh, or to use Moodle in, in where the UI language is in German, then the departments, city and country. So that's sort of the, the Excel file I generated. And obviously I've generated this file with those seven users. And now what I gotta do is, I mean, if you have a few users, I don't know, like under a hundred, then you might have a database or just use a, an Excel file to generate that data, uh, you know, um, you know, like, you know, like this one here, I just use concatenation and some uh, string um, functions in Excel just to generate that. And um, then once I've done that, what I can do is just save that, save that, um, save that as a CSV file. And then what I would do is upload this CSV file into the Moodle. That's one way of doing it. Another way is obviously we have a database or something that this database can generate a, a CSV file, which you then upload to uh, Moodle. So now uh, we've got our CSV file. I'm just gonna drag it in here. That's one way of doing it. Obviously you can also, I mean, I could drag it in here. That's one way. Or what you can do is just choose a file and then, uh, you know, uh, just uh, pick a, pick, uh, upload a file. And then you choose a file and that file would be, uh, you know, I've got mine on the desktop somewhere. Uh, CSV file, there is this sample user CSV. And then I would just give it a name. I don't know, just call it the uh, users or the new users. And upload this file. And that would get me back to the, to the, to the first uh, uh, screen I had. Obviously the easy way would just to drag that file in here. And then here's the important, what is your CSV limiter? In my case, it's a semicolon. And let me preview, uh, well, I just got seven users, so 10 is more than enough. So, and then it won't upload now. We'll just give you a preview, first of all. So I go and upload users. And here we see the whole data, the way it is. And you see everything is like, looks okay. Now here I've got certain options. These are important. Uh, if you already have users in your database, then that is very important. Add new only, skip existing users because you don't want to, you know, sort of um, overwrite or delete existing users. New user password. Now I have a field, I have created a field in my CSV uh, file for the password. So file required in file, I have because I have that field in my file. Force password change for everybody. That's what I, that's sort of one my, of my policies. So every every um, uh, uh, user has got to um, uh, for, uh, get a password change, uh, and that's about it. These are the main uh, things that you have to do, and then upload users, and then you would you would get all the users in your uh, in your Moodle system. So in here I have all the users and I've got like seven users created. And if I can continue, then I would, uh, I'm back to the first uh, scene. And then if I go to site administration and click on the users tab and browse my users, uh, you could see they're all in there. So now I have not only that Ralph person here, which I, did manually, and you can see he has no city and no country and whatever. But uh, and here, weirdly enough, country is uh, zero. I must have done some error in my uh, CSV. But basically, here you can see all those all those people, and you can see now if I log in, let's say like uh, Frank Brown, as Frank Brown, I will be forced to uh, change my password. Let's just uh, give it a shot, and just let me see what his username is. It is. Um, he can go to edit profile and you can see his username is Frabro. So if I just copy that and I'm now here in a, in a new browser, local host, and then slash, uh, slash self learner. I should come to the login. 
And now I'm trying, I log in. And let me just zoom it up. And just paste the name. And then I'll type in that standard first password, which was ABC123 exclamation, 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 DEF. And if I log in, uh, you will see now I have to change my password. And once I change my password, then I'm able to log in as uh, Frank Brown into my uh, user. Let's let's do it. let's let's give him a certain password. Current password is A B C one two three. Let me just type it again. A B C one two three exclamation 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 D E F. And now what I'm gonna do is lowercase D E F. Three, two, one, exclamation, 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 A, B, C, and then the same thing here, D, E, F, uh, three, two, one, exclamation, 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 and then A, B, C, and save changes. And uh, did I, let me just, let me just get a text file, let me just uh, write it again, and uh, A, B, C, or let me just, D, E, F, uh, one, two, three, uh, exclamation, exclamation, A, B, C, and just let me copy it. Right, and right, and now save changes. And what is, oh, must have at least one uppercase, so let me just give him an uppercase. And right, and okay, and save. So and now I'm logged in as Frank Brown, and I've changed my password because I was forced to by the admin, uh, and that's it. And now I'm in here as a as a new user. So that's the way you input new users in um, in in Moodle. And there, like I said, there are two ways of doing it. One is uh, let me just go back to the um, to the site administration and users. So one is add a new user where you add a single user. But like I said, this is this is good for single instances. If you you know you forgot a user or something, but in most cases you're going to be uploading users, and that is done with a CSV file. And uh, you know then you've got to check out your delimiters and everything. And it's very important that when you're uploading that you check your options. If if you want to force password, uh, you know. Uh, whether the upload uh, keeps existing users and so on. So just be careful with these options. 